Hey guys, it's Utah Redneck Nichols. I, uh, it's been a little bit too hot here in North Texas in order to do much metal detecting. And uh, not just the heat, but the, uh, the hardness, how hard the ground is makes it almost impossible to dig. So uh, I was doing a coin roll hunt instead of some pennies, so I thought I'd go over my finds with you. Found uh, three S mint marks, a 70 a 71 and a 72 and then I found a total of six wheats they are uh, a 1938 a 1942 1945 1946 a 1953 and I was wrong there's actually seven because there's two 1957s um, I found a 1972 that still looks almost brand new. I don't know if I can get it to zoom in here on the detail of that one. But the finish on it I thought was just really cool. So I kind of set it aside. Then uh, I kept out some older pennies. I always normally keep out anything that's before 1965 just because um, it's old and because I do it. Um, Anyway, so I kept out a bunch of those that I found, but I don't know if you notice how bright and shiny that one penny is, um, but believe it or not, that is a 1959, and it still looks, let me zoom in here, it still looks brand new. I mean, that is so close to mint looking, it is just unreal. And the back of it, I don't know if you can see that on the memorial, but all the details still there all the fine lines on the steps everything um that's just amazing to me i mean to see the difference there's two 1959 d's and that's a side-by-side -side comparison um this is what i normally find and then that's the one i found in this box and it's just that had to come out of somebody's collection um so i'm definitely putting that one aside and then of course i found like 22, 2009's various backs but I always set those aside as well simply because there's fewer mintage of each back um, for that year anyway that was my finds hopefully you enjoyed it I know I had fun sorting through them all um, until next time if you're able to dig everything <laughs>